Your heart and your kidneys are like a married couple. What one does always affects the other. In sickness and in health, to death do them part. If you have diabetes, it makes this relationship even stronger. We've known about the relationship between heart disease and diabetes for a long time. But when your kidneys aren't functioning properly, poor regulation of blood pressure and other fluids can lead to an increased risk of congestive heart failure, heart attacks, stroke, and acceleration of kidney disease. And that's why today we're talking about how to prevent, monitor, and treat both heart and kidney disease. I'm Dr. Steve Edelman. And I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. And we are taking control of your diabetes. So Steve and I are both endocrinologists. We've both been living with type 1 diabetes since we were 15 years old. And since 1995, us here at TCOID have been helping people with diabetes live longer, healthier lives through our education, uh, entertaining videos, podcasts, all those things. So if you want to elevate your diabetes education game, please check out our YouTube channel, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. All right, so we're talking about the heart and the kidneys, and they are very intimately related. And there's a couple reasons why. First of all, they're related because if you wanna prevent heart and kidney disease, there's actually the same kind of things to tackle. But before that, Steve, how common are heart and uh, kidney disease? You know what? Heart and kidney disease, unfortunately, are four to six times higher in people with diabetes compared to those without diabetes. So extremely common, and why it's so important to do this program. So we don't want to get heart and kidney disease. How do we prevent it? What are the main takeaways for people in preventing these things? Preventing these conditions really starts with being proactive and monitoring the risk factors for heart and kidney disease, which are overlapping. Blood pressure, weight, cholesterol. Smoking cessation is another like really important one. So all these things like monitoring your blood pressure, monitoring your cholesterol, that's the next thing. To prevent these things, you've got to monitor them Every time you go to any physician visit, any healthcare provider, monitor your blood pressure. In general, the goal 130 over 80. Getting your cholesterol checked at least every year. Asking your provider, what should my goal be? Should I be on something to lower my cholesterol? And if you have diabetes, the answer is really yes, that you should be on something to lower your cholesterol. And we understand smoking cessation is difficult, but if you are smoking, you really have to make a concerted effort to, to stop. So that's monitoring. Now, let's talk about treatment, especially for people with diabetes. Yeah, well, the important thing about monitoring is the minute you see an abnormality in any of these risk factors in your labs or your medical records, you need to talk to your healthcare professional to get on the proper therapy early. And a lot of these issues with heart and kidney disease are asymptomatic. You don't feel abnormal. So that's why monitoring is key. And these therapies overlap. Yeah blood pressure medications, cholesterol medications, medications that specifically protect the kidneys and the heart, and there's a lot of overlap. The GLP-1 receptor agonists, Ozempic, Monjaro, and SGLT2 inhibitors, Jardiance and Farziga. These are powerful preventative agents. Mm -hmm. So if you're on those medications, they're doing multiple things, helping your blood sugars, helping you lose weight, and helping protect your heart and kidneys. These really are fantastic medications that are help bringing all these things together kind of in a positive way to keep you healthy. Game changers. So we want to hear from you. If you have heart or kidney disease, please let us know what your experience has been like in the comments, and we'll check those out. So Steve, take us home, summarize this. Yeah, remember that people with diabetes have a higher incidence of heart and kidney disease, and they affect each other. So it turns out that when you have them both, there's a negative synergistic effect, and that's important. And prevention really starts with you being educated. What are the tests and labs and things that you find in your chart that will tell you that you might be at risk or you might be getting the very start of kidney and heart disease. Those labs are straightforward. We've talked about them at, at length. And then there's therapy. You need to know the best therapies, work with your healthcare professional, create a good communication between you and your doctor, whether it's primary care, endocrine, or cardiologist, and then monitor your symptoms over time so you can prevent having a serious end-stage problem. Yeah. And we did a full podcast on exactly this topic with Dr. Jennifer Green, so check that out for more information. And remember, just think of your heart and kidneys as best buddies, just like me and Steve. And you want to keep them happy and healthy. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.